Who is to be Astronomer Royal? Not decided yet. Mr. William Harrison. Mr. Harrison, you may have heard of the sad death of the Astronomer Royal in your absence. Yes. I'd like to take this opportunity to present the new Astronomer Royal. Good morning, William. The Reverend Neville Maskelin, recently returned from a most successful trip to the West Indies. The members of the board will be familiar, I think, with his report and the astonishing success he had on his journey and the triumphant use of Professor Meyer's tables. My Lord, I'm sure I also must congratulate the Reverend Masculine, but as we all know, the calculation with the watch may be completed in a matter of minutes and does not depend upon the weather. Be quiet, Mr. Harrison. We are coming now to the matter of the watch and the opinion of the computers. Captain Campbell, you attest that this is your report and that you and your colleagues agree on it? We do. Very well. Mr. Harrison, please step forward. It is the finding of this board that the watch or timepiece created by John and William Harrison did keep correct time within the greatest accuracy required by the act of Queen Anne as drawn up by Parliament 51 years ago. Well, Lord, may I have a copy of those to show my father? He has waited a long time to hear your Lordship's kind words. In good time, Mr. Harrison. Astronomer Royal, would you be kind enough to read the fifth paragraph of the Act? My Lord. And be it further enacted by the authority aforesaid, that as soon as such method for the discovery of the said longitude shall have been tried and found practicable and useful at sea. Thank you. Practicable and useful. Those are the words I wish to draw to your attention. We accept the usefulness of the watch, but is it practicable? Mr. Harrison himself has never permitted this committee to examine the workings of his timepiece. I suggest to you that is because he himself has doubt about the practical use of his invention. My lords, you must understand that my father has sought to protect his work from those who might steal his inventions. But if this board requires it, we shall submit detailed drawings of the workings of the watch when he has received his prize. Mr. Harrison, this board does not accept restrictions placed upon its work as prescribed by Parliament. Here are the conditions required for fulfilment of the terms of the Act. First, your father must, in person, take the watch apart and explain the working of every detail to the complete satisfaction of such persons as this board shall appoint. This shall include any experimental observations they may require. Secondly, he shall make, or cause to be made under his sole direction, two further watches of the same design to demonstrate the practicality of their construction. And thirdly, these new watches shall be subjected to such test or tests as this board shall require to ascertain their usefulness under the terms of the Act. Then and only then will he receive his prize. Oh Lord, my father is sick and he is 73 years old. He has until Thursday to accept the conditions, which I must inform you have been submitted to Parliament and will form part of a new amendment to this bill. Call Mr. Christopher Irwin, please. Masculine doing here. He's the new astronomer royal. Oh, turd.
My lord, if I may beg your indulgence, I'm not yet used to speaking. Let my son speak for me. Perhaps your father would like a chair. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Well, let us proceed to the business. You accept the terms of the board? My father accepts the need for disclosure of the working of his watch, but wishes that he might demonstrate the mechanism to such people as may understand it, not to uh, theorists. That is for us to decide. They can choose who they like. I'll choose who I let in my own house. I beg pardon, Mr. Harrison. My father is pleased to accept the board's nominations. There is one question. <laughs> Your lordship requires that we be prepared to do experimental observations. Uh, my father is not clear what that means. Well, it, 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 Reverend Maskin. Um, th there's nothing sinister about it, merely that if there is a detail not understood by the committee, such as um, how Mr. Harrison is accustomed to, um, what's the word? Uh, um, temper a spring, for example, he should demonstrate his technique to us. What does he want to start about the tempering of a bloody spring? Would it be possible? to set out more explicitly what the board requires so that we might be prepared for it. No, sir! It would not! It is not your business, sir, to limit the inquiry of this board, but to satisfy it. It is not my business, sir, to explain the workings of a lifetime to a group of dog-collared university book swallowers who wouldn't know the difference between a balanced spring and a bent at pen. The 30 years I've stood before this board, I've never once had the occasion to talk to anyone who knew anything about what I was actually doing, any sense of the mechanisms I created. But I carried on, trusting that if I fulfilled the act of Queen Anne, I'd get my just rewards. I have fulfilled that act. I have made such a mechanism. Give me my prize and I'll use the money to build a, a factory, make a hundred watches, a thousand, each one the same. But I will not, as long as I've got a drop of English blood in my body, and not dance to the tune of a group of ignorant schoolboys. Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison! Father, oh, don't give me any more of your fine words and clever explanations. What do you know about what I've had to put up with? What do you understand about what I've done? Could you build a watch, sir? No. You damn well couldn't. Get away from me. Get away from me. William. William. If you wouldn't mind. Mr. Harrison, either your father signs an oath agreeing to these terms, or this matter ends here. We are prepared to pay half the award, less those monies paid out, once we are satisfied with the disclosure, and the other half when the new watches made by your father have proved their worth. My lord, if you would just change the wording of experimental observations, he would, he would sign. No! 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 How many times do I have to say it to you bloody people? You do not negotiate with this board! <laughs> 